So we're gonna play a game called Top Fives, where you pick you pick a subject, and then you go, and then I go, and then you go, and then I go until we get five. Yes. Seems simple. So I want to go first with the topic. Okay. Top five things that you hate about people of Walmart. They're all irritating. Is that your number one? Yes. You could just you could just say that all of them are irritating. There's nothing else. Everybody is irritating. Those are my five. Sorry, I'm stuck. Okay. The number one. Yes. Um. The <laughs> self checkouts. You don't like the self checkouts? Self checkouts are so annoying. If I'm doing your job. You should be giving me an employee discount. <laughs> you make like two fifty an hour. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so now I pick a number two. Yes, you're number okay. two. So number two, is it like two things or just, just, just one, one thing? thing? One thing. Okay, one thing I hate about people of Walmart is that none of them want to wear bras and underwear. And you can see that. That's legit. <laughs> that's, that's legit. That's the top one. That's It's almost in a pet peeve, like top top five pet peeves but yeah that's that's legit number three people in pajamas why are you 40 going to walmart really you like to go out in your sweatpants so i don't think that sweatpants that's sweatpants are not pajamas these are legit like see-through and if you go to target it doesn't matter like you can just wear your sweatpants to target. <laughs> it's target what that's like oh people can wear pjs to walmart but you can wear sweatpants to target did you want to put your curlers in too before we left that house? No, but I have seen that at Walmart. I like have curlers? seen someone with curlers oh, in their yeah. hair. People are big on curlers. See through pajama bottoms, no, no underwear, underwear. <laughs> no yeah. bra, and a tank top. We're like, they're like all falling out and stuff. It's all bad. No. People in pajamas at Walmart. No, you are 40, Karen. Put some clothes on. <laughs> Karen. <laughs> Okay, so my number four would be that you go in for one tiny solitary item and you walk out spending four hundred dollars and you're hauling three grocery carts. That is my that is my t and, I feel like now I'm going into pet peeves of Walmart. And you didn't even get the item that you went in for. Oh, and yeah, and then you walk out, you're like, what did I come in here for? Oh, light bulbs. Now we have to go to the dollar store tomorrow because I'm done with Walmart. <laughs> number five. People's unruly children. You know, like in really children? It's like every time you walk into Walmart, there's that token kid that's screaming like somebody's murdering it. That's because it's like two o'clock in the morning and they're two years old. <laughs> Sorry. But like it it doesn't matter what time you go in there. It can be noon. It can be five PM. You always it can have be two AM. You have that token kid. And they're following you. That's screaming every like aisle. somebody's murdering it. Mm -hmm. They're like, I didn't want beans. I don't like, even like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Why are you getting me anything? Right. I want the $300,000 toy. Right. Because <laughs> I think they have those there. I believe they strong, do. Strong they want all the electronics yeah. and uh, nobody's buying them. them. But then you have the token 10-year-old who follows random people through the store, like throwing a hissy fit because somebody didn't get him something that he wanted, like right now. And then you have the token mom who runs around behind that kid, screaming, Joshua, stop it! Did I ever tell you about my one experience with Walmart? I think I might have, but when I was standing in line, and I'm happily just chilling in line, this little boy, maybe, like, I don't even know, maybe three or four years old, just comes up and hauls and just punches me right in the butt. And he's like, and I look at him, I'm like, really? And he's like, ah! And then he, like, turns and runs away, and I'm like, where are your parents, child? Joshua! <laughs> So those were the fives of Walmart, my topic.